So obviously the main concern is for Officer David Piatek, who is said to be in stable condition with serious injuries at ECMC. And now there's also a Crime Stoppers reward in this case, which involves, yes, another stolen Kia automobile. As you can see in this drone video from a neighbor, Officer Piatek had pulled over the driver of what is reported by Crime Stoppers to be a black Kia Sportage SUV around 8 o'clock last night on Sheridan Parkside Drive near Pyle Court. A police officer Piatek and another assisting Tonawanda officer were interviewing the driver and a front seat passenger when the driver suddenly sped off in that black SUV, a driving, a dragging officer Piatek about 60 feet down the street, causing again serious injuries for the officer. He did suffer head trauma and he's being taken care of very well by the ECMC staff. His family is with him and we have police officers at the hospital with him as well. I do expect him to have a recovery at this time. He is showing some improvement in his condition. Now, Chief Stoffiger says investigators are still looking at patrol car dash cam and officer body cam videos right now to determine if Piatek was somehow snagged and dragged by part of the car. Exactly what else may have happened here? If you have any information on this hit and run case, you're asked to call Tonawanda Town Police number on the screen 879-6614 or again, Crime Stoppers, Western New York, offering a $2,500 reward for information leading to the arrest or indictment of anyone responsible. Their number is 716-867-6161, or you can use their Buffalo Tips mobile app. Now, stolen car cases have been very dangerous lately for police officers. You may recall Cheektowaga officer Troy Blackchief was severely injured back in February and a 17 year old car theft suspect was charged in that case and in the Rochester area. Police officer hit by a car which police say was stolen by a 14 year old driver as officers there responded to the parking lot of a Kia dealership. Here in the Information Center, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.